Cairnholy 2, near Creetown, in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland. The Cairnholy 2 site is one of the best prehistoric sites in southwest Scotland. The site was carefully placed on a rocky knoll in a beautiful landscape above Wigton Bay that is rich in ancient sites from deep antiquity. Cairnholy 2 gets overshadowed by the iconic and elaborate Cairnholy 1, which is a short 150 metre walk down the farm track. Here we have two excellent prehistoric sites from circa five millennia ago, which we can still enjoy visiting in our present day. The vicinity around the Cairnholy sites has many rock art locations. Cairnholy 2 on its own is a must visit historical site in Dumfries and Galloway. Any dedicated lay hunter, megalithomaniac or a curious tourist will not want to miss the site. Cairnholy 2 along with Torhouse Stone Circle claims to be the tomb of the Scottish King Goldus. Here we have an excellent Clyde type chambered cairn from the New Stone Age era. This design type is found in southwest Scotland. Haley Cairn and Largs is another example. These chambered cairns are also found on Europe's Atlantic coast and in Ireland. The chamber of the site is aligned to the northeast. This may have a summer solstice sunrise function. It is highly likely our ancient ancestors carefully orientated these sites to key solar dates. Cairnholy 1 is aligned roughly east-west, which is the spring and autumn equinox orientation. The front portal stone is 3 metres high. The second portal is broken. These megaliths form a narrow entrance passage. You are then confronted with an upright stone that is part of a second inner chamber. This is capped by a large megalithic slab. A closer look at the capstone reveals modern graffiti. Archaeologists Powell and Piggott excavated in 1949. Similar finds were discovered at both the Cairnholy sites. The antechamber or inner chamber revealed a hearth, a flint knife, shards from five or six beaker pots and a leaf-shaped arrowhead. When Cairnholy 2's usage came to an end, the entrance was intentionally blocked off. The prehistoric people may have known this era was coming to an end and they symbolically closed the site. The closing stone now lies fallen in a shallow V-shaped forecourt. Perhaps they hoped future generations would admire their beautifully constructed and thought out megalithic sites. While studying and researching these sites, we may find out what the Neolithic people were thinking and what was important to them. Another fascinating site close by is Glencricken Stone Circle. The Cairnholy sites are situated between Gatehouse of Fleet and Creetown on the A75 road. They are in the care of Historic Environment Scotland and clearly signposted from the road. Before Caledonia is a historical project which looks at the vast prehistoric sites in Scotland and focuses on the Neolithic and Bronze Age, stone circles, standing stones and rock art. Please consider becoming a Patreon for exclusive benefits while supporting my work thanks to my current Patreons. Join Before Caledonia on Facebook. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to our ancient ancestors.